so now we'll see the lateral wall of nose so the lateral wall of nose it is the skeletal of the lateral wall is partly bony and partly cartilaginous and partly made up by the soft tissue follows now we'll see the bony part the bony part is formed by the nasal bone then frontal process of maxilla then labyrinth of ethmoid by and uh, along with the superior concha and the middle concha then inferior nasal concha then perpendicular plate of palate bone together with orbital spinodal process it's still me laterally then medial pterygoid plate now if you see the cartilaginous part it is formed by the superior nasal cartilage so here it is the superior nasal cartilage and inferior nasal cartilage so superior nasal cartilage and the inferior nasal cartilage or and three or four the small cartilaginous of the ala so that is about the bony formation of the lateral wall now we'll see the conchae and meatus of the meatuses of the lateral wall so there are three conchas the superior concha middle concha and inferior concha so the superior concha and the inferior concha it is made up of by the ethmoidal bone the ethmoidal labyrinth and the inferior concha is an independent bone now if you see the superior concha is also a projection from the medial surface of ethmoidal labyrinth and this is the smallest concha situated just above the posterior part of middle concha okay so the meatus the, the space between the uh, conchas it is known as the meatus so here the between the superior and the middle concha so here it is the superior meatus between the middle and the inferior concha here this is the middle meatus and below the inferior concha it is known as the inferior meatus now we'll see the inferior meatus so here this is the inferior meatus the structures opens into the middle inferior meatus is nasolacrimal duct which and this openings and the opening is guarded by a lacrimal fold or hasner's valve so here it is the inferior meatus now if you see the middle meatus so the middle meatus it consists of an elevation so he, here you can see this is known as the ethmoidal bulla so it is not an ethmoidal bulla or also known as bullous ethmoidus so just below the bullous ethmoidus there is a small or the deep semicircular sulcus known as the hiatus sulcus hiatus semicircularis so here if i elevate this so here you can here you can see the bullous ethmoidus and here the hiatus semilunaris now the openings of the openings in this middle meatus in front here it is the frontal air sinus so here, this is the frontal air sinus which opens into this here that is anterior part of hiatus semilunaris then and the middle part will get the opening of maxillary air sinus and also opening of middle ethmoidal air sinus on the posterior aspect so there are three openings that is frontal air sinus maxillary air sinus middle ethmoidal air sinus also it gives the openings of anterior ethmoidal air sinus sorry the middle ethmoidal air sinus so here it gives all uh, uh, again so the frontal air sinus maxillary air sinus anterior ethmoidal air sinus and middle ethmoidal air sinus the four sinuses opens into the middle meatus now we'll see the superior meatus to the superior meatus that is in between the superior concha and the middle concha here the opening is in the posterior ethmoidal air sinus opens into the superior meatus now above that the above the superior meatus there is a small recess that is known as the spinoethmoidal recess so this is a spinoidal air sinus and this recess it is known as spinoethmoidal recess a triangular fossa just above the superior concha it receives the opening of spinoidal air sinus so here it gives the spinoidal air sinus so the overall so here it is the lateral wall of nose the lateral wall of nose it is formed by the bony part and the cartilaginous part so, so the cart bony part it is formed by the nasal bone frontal process of maxilla and the lacrimal bone 
and the labyrinth of ethmoid labyrinth of ethmoid with the superior and middle concha and then inferior concha then perpendicular pro process of palate and bone together with the sphenoidal process then the meatus and the concha there are three meatus and the three conchas so the superior concha is middle concha and the inferior concha in between the space it is known as the meatus so here it is the superior meatus this is middle meatus and here it is the inferior meatus so the inferior meatus gives the opening of the nasal acromal duct the middle meatus it consists of the ethmoidal bulla and hiatus semilunaris and within the hiatus semilunaris you will get anteriorly the frontal frontal air sinus middle there is the maxillary air sinus sorry the anterior ethmoidal air sinus posteriorly maxillary air sinus and above there is the middle ethmoidal air sinus then superior meatus it gives the openings of posterior ethmoidal air sinus and this is spino ethmoidal recess which gives openings of spinoidal sinus thank you